The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today we're talking about dynamics. We are going to be adding some dynamics to our drums using my favorite and one of the least expensive plugins I use called Volume Shaper. We have nothing open yet. I wanted to make a drum beat from scratch. So let's go dig up some samples. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, number seven, not too bad. Let's put some quarter notes in here. I already have my tempo set at 100 beats per minute. We're gonna be making some uh, down tempo grooves. Let's like, give this a listen. Straight quarter notes. What I love about this kick drum is the thumpy attack. What I don't love about this kick drum is that crackly vinyl sounding tail. So we are going to use our volume shaper to shave off what we don't want and emphasize what we do want. Uh, the preset we're going to be basing this off of is, is in the trimming section right there. You can hear right away this is already doing the majority of the work for us. I think it might be a little bit too short, so I'm going to pull this curve over a little bit more to let through some of that tail. I didn't want to chop it off completely. I just wanted to tame it a little bit. back a little bit more right there let's turn it back off and here we hear you cool that way we keep the crackle it's just not quite as loud as it was before because i felt like it was competing with the attack moving on let's add <clears throat> some percussion head over to our percussions folder i'm going to go to the wood folder I like this one. Drop this in, make a quick island rhythm. Now, right now, this sounds pretty stale because there is no dynamics in this percussion groove. And we're going to very easily fix that once again with our volume shaper. Uh, instead of doing trimming, we're actually going to pull one of the ducking presets and edit it. Uh, this thing is closest to what I want. Uh, I kind of want to shave off this one a little bit. And then maybe back off the mix a little bit. As you can see, zero is back to where we were. 100 is full effect. I kind of want somewhere in the middle, but more towards 100. Right around 80% sounds good to me. Do you produce music and love making hot club bangers? Do you find yourself constantly searching for those crispy snares and percussions? Do you want your beats to make people turn up? Maybe it's time you stepped up your sample pack library. Here at Whole Loops, we've got the product for you. Introducing Raw Hits, our debut sample pack of organically grown drum one shots, loops, FX, vocal samples, and all the production essentials you'll need to add some organic flavor to your secret sauce. Raw Hits is available now only at wholeloops.com. Let's duplicate this channel and delete these, and let's go find some more one shots to layer in here to beef that groove up a little bit or were we there was another good one towards the end I like number 24 just keep dropping all these in oops and right there let's see what we got now this has the same volume shaper as the last channel so this one's already done I love that. Let's add a top loop. Uh, let's add a tambourine loop. I like that one. I 
I like the timing of the tambourine, but once again, I feel like this needs a little bit more emphasis on the kick drums because in my beat, that's where I want all the emphasis to be. So let's pull up a volume shaper and we're gonna pull up the same preset as we did on the kick drum out of the trimming. And we're just gonna pull back the mix a little bit. Maybe bump this over a little bit. You could try. Bumping that one so you can catch a little bit of that one before the loop restarts. And uh, this is grooving much better now. So just as a quick reference to hear what it sounds like without the volume shaper adding all this dynamic contrast to it. Let's turn all these off and give this one listen. So it definitely loses a lot of its liveliness. I think there's much more here to kind of nod your head to just by the way everything is emphasized on the downbeat. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Very simple, very affordable, and very applicable trick that you could use not just on your drum loops, but during your buildups. On leads, I've used this in every part of a song that you could possibly imagine. I highly recommend you go check out Volume Shaper. Um, this plugin is probably one of the ones that I use the most as a fundamental production tool. Thank you guys for watching. Check out Whole Loops if you like the one shots in this video. Raw Hits 1 is available at wholeloops.com. I will catch you guys next time with a new tutorial.